I wanted to ease my way into it to see exactly how my body would respond. And so far, my body has been responding very, very poorly. My digestion's been off, my mental clarity's been off, my energy levels have been low, my workouts haven't been as great, and my joint pain is absolutely terrible. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Sunday Q&A. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today's question is with regard to processed food, joint pain, and the carnivore diet. Specifically, how have my joints been feeling? Well, for those of you that have been following me for a while and have been following me along the last month or two, you know that I've been experimenting with adding just a little bit of processed food into my diet just to see how my body reacts. I'm gonna just cover this again, but basically to recap, over the last 11 years, ever since I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis back in 2010, my diet has primarily consisted of 100% grass-finished meats. I haven't had any processed food in the last 11 years. So a lot of people have been asking, is it okay to add processed foods? How is processed meats gonna be on the carnivore diet? Is it going to affect your joints, your health, anything like that? So I decided to do a little bit of an experiment. The first week, it was pretty bad. My digestion was really, really sluggish, and I noticed that I was getting a lot more loose stool than I had been over the course of the last year. The last year has generally been really, really good. And my digestion has been amazing. And then the second week, it was a little bit better, a little bit of loose stool, but nothing major. And then the third week, which is this week right now, things have kind of gotten back to the first week where I'm getting a lot more loose stool. And then aside from that, I have been experiencing joint pain. If you guys have been following me for a while, once again, you know that I have had issues with low back pain and also wrist pain in my right wrist. And that is something that has not really been plaguing me at all over the course of the last few years. The last time that I had any type of joint pain whatsoever would have been around December 2019. We were filming a video for this musician and it was a music video. I went to go lift up the tire without warming up, which was stupid of me. I was on my feet for 13 hours over the course of that day. And then I wasn't even thinking about it. The tire for me, it's really light. So I just went to pick it up, heard a little pop in my back. And for about two weeks, my back was messed. So. Ever since then, my back has been absolutely amazing. Back in 2020, last year, I ended up hitting a new deadlift PR. I'll include a link right up over here if you haven't seen that video. But overall, my back has been feeling amazing. My wrist has been feeling amazing. I haven't had any joint pain whatsoever over the course of the last one and a half years. And then ever since I started incorporating a little bit more processed food into the diet, the joint pain's been coming back. And this is not a lot of processed food that I've been adding in. Basically two days out of the week, on my Tuesdays and on my Fridays, I have my double bacon cheeseburger. And on that day, the only processed food that I'm adding in Normally, I would have one whole egg. The egg white would form the bun, and I would add pecorino romano cheese. Instead of that, I'm adding egg white that comes out of the carton. And then the egg yolk and pecorino romano cheese, that would be the cheese sauce. I've replaced that with two slices of the processed fat-free cheese. And the last thing would be the bacon. Normally, I would put three strips of bacon on my double bacon cheeseburger, and now I have three strips of chicken bacon. And that's the only processed food that I've been adding in. I only do that twice a week. It's not like I've gone all in and done 100% processed. I wanted to ease my way into it to see exactly how my body would respond. And so far, my body has been responding very, very poorly. My digestion's been off, my mental clarity's been off, my energy levels have been low, my workouts haven't been as great, and my joint pain is absolutely terrible, especially the last three, four days. I noticed that on Monday morning when I woke up, my low back, especially on the right side, it was really, really stiff. And it was at the point where I was, I had to flex to walk forward. I couldn't stand up with a straight spine. And then my right wrist, it was really painful right at the radius, right at the radius where it, where it articulates with the actual car, metacarpal bones. It was very, very painful. And I ended up doing some Aldoas, specifically the L5S1 Aldoa. If you do have low back pain, just a side note, but I'll clue like right up over here. That's a terrific exercise. You should definitely try it out. But I ended up doing that. That helped it out. I ended up doing a little bit of manual therapy on my low back and also some manual therapy on my wrist, just doing some self-massage and that helped. Today, it's feeling a lot better than it was yesterday, but it's still not 100%. And overall, this short little experiment that I've been doing, I have noticed that it has been very detrimental in terms of my digestive health, my mental clarity, my, my bone health, because my joints are hurting. So I was originally going to go all in and do a little bit of processed meats seven days out of the week, but then I decided not to do that and only do it two days. I wanna see what's gonna happen if I add in two more days. So over the course of the next month, 
I'm gonna have that double bacon cheeseburger and I'm gonna add it in on two more days of the week. So I'm gonna be replacing my top sirloin steak, which I normally have on Wednesdays and Saturdays with that double bacon cheeseburger. And I wanna see if by adding just a little bit of processed meats on four days of the week, how detrimental is that going to be to my body? How's it gonna affect my, my digestion, my ulcerative colitis, my joint pain? And this is more just to kind of let you guys know what exactly does processed food do to your body? If it is your main objective to optimize your health, meaning you want your health to be your top priority, nothing else is more important, then adding processed meats into the carnivore diet is definitely not gonna be beneficial for you. Same thing with if it's your main objective to optimize your performance. If it's just your main objective to look better, you wanna lose a little bit of fat, you wanna put on a little bit of muscle, and you're able to consume it without any real issues if you don't have an autoimmune condition like I do, or just any type of joint pain to begin with, then it may not be detrimental for you. You can still lose weight. You can still build muscle by adding in some processed meats. But if you do have an autoimmune condition, I would highly recommend that all the food that you eat is real food, nothing processed. Because for myself personally, it's been very detrimental over the last month. And I kind of just wanted to do this for you guys just to illustrate the point that whole foods is gonna be a lot better than processed foods. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any other questions with regard to this little experiment, or if you have any other recommendations for things you'd like me to see you do in the future, then go ahead, drop your comments down in the comment section because I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to make more of these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.